Whip, whip. Brian the Wise here, slash Jeff, and uh, this is a vlog I actually meant to get out last week, but I have been ill. You can still kind of hear my voice is a little, little rashy, a little rough around the edges. It's, uh, it's what I get for practicing my Martin Luther King Jr. impression in the shower. Amazingly, at the right temperature, I can almost nail it. Anyway, today I decided to do a spectacular Spider-Man retrospective due to the fact that the Ultimate Spider-Man TV series recently started. So I guess without further ado, something, I'm gonna just get, I'm, I'm gonna get this started, cause I don't, yeah. Spectacular Spider-Man was a pretty basic premise. It was just retelling all of Spider-Man's great stories. It was about Peter Parker in high school, uh, all the superheroes who had to fight were popping up in the city, and his home drama, things like that. Spectacular Spider-Man did a really, really good job, though, of keeping it so true to the original Spider-Man mythos, while still taking conventional uh, twists and stuff, incorporating things from the Ultimate Comic Universe and from the cinematic universe. So, while it was telling basic stories, it was adding little twists on them and it was making them nice and fresh and fun to watch. The, the series also like, boasted a great bunch of villains. Like, this is probably some of the best villains that have been represented in, in the cartoons. Like, the Green Goblin was great, Venom was great, uh, other classics like Narado, Sandman, all those guys, they were all fun to watch. And it also featured a few like lesser known villains like Molten Man. Spectacular Spider-Man told a great story. It, it did a great job of what it was doing. It was interesting from week to week. What I thought made it so good was the fact that it had three episode arcs that it would follow in. So you could kind of watch each three episodes as its own like, almost like mini season. It was it was pretty cool. It was fun to watch. I, I think though, probably one of the most redeeming factors for the spectacular Spider-Man were the amazing fight scenes, which I have set to badass music. You guys can enjoy some of the best of Spectacular Spider-Man. small sample of the badassness that was in Spectacular Spider-Man. There was a lot of badassness in that show. So I think out of all the Spider-Man cartoons, that show probably did the action scenes the best. So let's do, let's do a tally count so far. It represented the villains the best. It had a great fresh take on the material and had the best fight scenes out of the Spider-Man cartoons. So what's left? What else could have made Spectacular Spider-Man so good? 
Well, in this vlogger's humble opinion, it was actually the soapy teen drama stuff. And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything's made to be broken I just want you to know who I am I know I'm, I'm 20 years old, I'm in university, and I was watching stuff when I was in high school, and even then, I, I shouldn't be in the soapy teen drama in superhero cartoons. I mean, I shouldn't be. But it's so good. It's so well told. I, I really, really wanted Peter Parker to hook up with Gwen Stacy, but it never happened. It's a, the disappointing fact of the show getting canceled after only two seasons. No, man. But anyway, the thing I think that was so great about it is that while there was so much action, there was a good amount of plot going on in the background. Almost every episode, it manages to sneak in these little heartfelt moments between all the love interests in the story. And it was, it was so good at sneaking them in there that when they paid off, they paid off in huge ways. So even, even if this wasn't a cartoon and say this was like a live action drama or something like that, or like a live action anything, and the story was told the same way, it would, that you would be... Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm not a wuss! Anyway, Detective Spider-Man unfortunately got cancelled after two seasons. Boy, does that upset me. However, they have recently released Ultimate Spider-Man. I've seen the first two episodes, and I, I like them. And it's definitely a, a fresh take on the show. The problem is it's got so much to live up to. Because it is, whether it's like it's an attention or not, it is a spiritual successor to Spectacular. Things are starting to accelerate into something never stopping. I was trouble falling now. I think I'm getting dizzy too much spinning. Pace by pace, I'm trying to stick it in, pick it in. It's getting too insane. I'm trying to maintain. Whoa, 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 whoa. You run around, I run around. We're all gonna run, run, run around. You run around. And that's those are some big shoes to fill. So I think Ultimate has the potential to become as great as show spectacular. It's just not there yet. But that being said, it's only two episodes in, so I have hope for it. But it definitely what it has going for it is that it's definitely the most fresh take on anything Spider-Man related. It's definitely going to be an interesting show to watch in the future. And for those of you who are still very upset about the unfortunate death of Spectacular Spider-Man, check out uh, the creators of the show's new TV show, Young Justice. Young Justice almost done its first season, which has been 26 episodes uh, so far, or will be 26 episodes. There's, well, that's the length of Spectacular by itself, so there's plenty to watch. And in all honesty, it's just as good as Spectacular was. I'm loving Young Justice so far. It's a lot of fun. So if you need your fill of awesome teenage superhero-ness, go check out Young Justice. And keep an eye on Ultimates. I have, I have high hopes for it and high expectations. I have a feeling they might be them. But yes, that is my retrospective on Spectacular Spider-Man. Spectacular, you will be very, very missed. So that really is all for me today. I was gonna, I had so many good plans, and then I got sick. It was the worst time in the world. But yeah, I will, uh, school's almost over, so I have a few more video vlogs and things planned over the month of April-ish. So hopefully those will come to fruition. Hopefully my voice will become fully better. So look forward to all that. All right, guys, Brohendo Wise slash Jeff Evans. Spectacular!